Are you concerned about all this corruption being misgendered as conspiracies? Well, don't you worry. Sit back, relax, and join in the conversation as we talk with today's guest. Welcome to another LSB Film Productions podcast with your host, Chris Brooks. Hello and welcome to the channel for another for another LSB podcast. Today I have the great Panny Thieb. Well, see, I've buffed it already. I've been <laughs> practicing the actual name. Panny Theo. That's it. Today I have Panny Theo with me, and he's going to tell us all about what he's been doing in the courts and how he's been kicking ass, basically. Uh, welcome to the channel, mate. Thank you, thank you. Um, welcome to everyone. Um, we just said uh, disclaimer: this isn't legal advice. This is just uh, my procedures and what I've been going through, and I'm just sharing it with everyone. Um, the biggest thing is the truth movement is saturated with people thinking that money gives them justice, and for me, there's no money that gives you justice. The wrongdoers need to be held accountable. And that's the language we need to use as well, mm. because there's crimes and there's wrongs. Yeah. Uh, criminal side of it, it's all fiction. It's all been made up. If you're using a crime, then you've got to follow criminal procedure rules and all of that malarkey. And then you've got statute of limitations and things like that. There should be no limitation. If someone's wronged you and you can prove it, there should be no limitations for that. And in commoners law, is the law of man there is no time limit so we need to stick to that and um i'll just let everyone know what i have been doing i've been trying to access private prosecution and i i have been accepted this is why it's a big big deal and i need support and i want followers i need supporters i need kings and queens to stand with me um i did go on thursday Day before Good Friday, second magistrate court, fourth time to be sworn in. And I got rejected again. And they're not telling me that my claim is no good. This is what's crazy. Um, and I don't know if you watched my podcast where I, put I did, the video I did watch in. that. Yeah, <laughs> part one. Yeah, there's going to yeah. be many more coming, but I, I want to finish this now because you've got uh, Gary Waterman, that policeman. A lot of people don't trust him. Um, I trust people until they show me otherwise. There's yeah. people that have been called shills and they're still, I'm listening to them and they're doing still good stuff, you know. Yeah. So until they show me, I'm not going to go by what someone says. I'm 100%, I I'm 100% yeah, I 100% agree with you. Until, until I witness something for myself, I will take them at face value. Um, it's funny you should mention his name actually because I've j just had a voice message from him. So we're going to arrange a podcast for next week sometime. So that'd be good, right? Um, so uh, the court accepted my claim for a wrong, and let me just explain to you this is from uh, Black Laws Dictionary, it's the first edition. I always go with the first edition. If I can't find it in the first edition, then I'll, I'll look further on because if something has a meaning from day one, how can you change that meaning just mm. because someone wrote a definition? So I always go with the first edition. And this is what a wrong is. A wrong is an injury, a tort, a violation of right or of law. But what everyone's going for, they're going for an offence. An offence is a crime or a misdemeanour, a breach of a criminal law. Yeah? It's basically, it's used in genus, comprehending, uh, yeah, comprehending every crime and misdemeanor or a species signifying a crime not indictable, but punishable summarily or by forfeiture or by a penalty. In other words, money. Yeah. So if people want to get paid to shut up, that's up to them. Yeah. For me, that's not a win. And then you've got the word crime. A crime is an act committed or omitted in violation of a public law, either forbidding or commanding it. So 
um, a breach or violation of some public right or duty due to the whole community. That's what a crime is, right? A wrong is something totally different. Yeah. You know, if you want to see, that's a printout from, from Black Laws, what a wrong is. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Right? Mm -hmm. And then that's what a crime is. That's from the printout again. So a crime is different to a wrong. You understand? Yeah. And this is what people need to get. <clears throat> They're all out there saying crime, crime, crime. And it's not a crime. It's a wrong. And the, the old Bailey, when they built the old Bailey, and it's etched in stone, and it says, protect the children of the poor and punish the wrongdoer. Why does it say crime? Because it's a wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we've got so, so many things here. The word fee. So anyone that's going in the civil route to the county courts and they're paying a fee. Uh, where is it? So in modern English, tenures, fee signifies an estate of inheritance being the highest and most extensive interest which a man can have in a feud. Okay, yeah. So a fee is being in a feud or being a thief. Uh, where's the other? Um... So anyone paying a fee, you, you're basically, you're, you're a thief, a feudling thief which is a war in fee. So why would you want to pay a fee to get justice? That's right. Justice should just yeah. be as is. Right. And what I've um, exposed and what I have been accepted as a private prosecution, the one page document stamped by the court. I've got an email to prove this saying this is a private prosecution. This is the next step is a warrant and summons for arrest. You don't pay a fee for this. No. It's free. You just got your time to go and file it. And within 21 days, they have to bring that wrongdoer in. But where I've hit a brick wall, and it's not even a brick wall because they haven't told me it's no good. This is what they wanted me to fill in. The warrant was summons for arrest, yeah? Yeah. So, you see it says application at the top. I do. I've changed the word application to order. I've changed uh, plaintiff back to prosecutor and I changed defendant back to wrongdoer. And they went, oh. and the first magistrate court said, we haven't got no one qualified to swear you in. And it has to be a magistrate. So that's I said what, to them, that's what so you played on your clip, isn't it? it? That's, that's the bit that yes, I heard. that's yeah. what I showed. Yeah. No, 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 that clip was something different. That was afterwards. I was just going through the process. I, oh, right, I started okay. in Thames Court. What I what I played on that uh, private prosecution part one, that was in Chelmsford. Okay. Because we, in Thames Court, they told me there's no one there qualified to swear me in. So I was quite annoyed. I said, so the hours I've been here and all these cases that are going on, there's not even a real magistrate here. They're putting people in jail. They're finding mm. people. They're taking licenses of people. And there's no one qualified to swear me in. And a magistrate is not even legally trained. <laughs> it's, it's, it's ludicrous. It? I, just, I don't understand it. So I went there a second time. They didn't want to do it. So I served the, the court manager a notice. And I thought, right, let me find another court. And I realised that Thames Court is not even part of the judiciary. It's disgusting. And I was there, they had these leaflets up, these leaflets. They were up in the in Thames Court, right? Mm -hmm. And it's about the rule of law and how important the rule of law is. And that we're all equal under the rule of law, whether it's police to the government. Yeah? And, and it's the foundation of our society. And I'm shouting at the woman, you, you're not going to take my claim, blah, blah, blah. And I realise, look what it says at the top. It's His Majesty's Courts and Tribunals Judiciary. 
And I'm shouting to a woman, she's His Majesty's Courts and Tribunal Services. And now I've distinguished the two. We Everyone needs to understand this. His Majesty's Courts and Tribunal Services is on .gov. Whereas His Majesty's Courts and Tribunals Judiciary is on judiciary.uk. Because like it says here, the three is independence, independent, impartial, and integrity. Yeah. Right? And it actually states that they're separate from the government. So why have you got our judiciary? Every court in England and Wales has got a HMCTS staff front in it, which is part of the government. So where's the separation of powers? Where's the integrity? It's just one big Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Where's it? It's huge. And I'm at the end of my tether now. And I said, it's one last chance I'm giving them to swear me in. And this ain't a joke. I'm going to get as many people as I can to support me in my community. And I've been speaking to people on the streets. I walk my dogs every day and I speak to people out there. I've got a couple of rental properties with my family and I've been speaking to neighbours. And they're all getting ready for this. Because I think we have to do this. If we don't take charge, like I said, Gary Waterman, uh, I don't know him, but what he's put out there, he's telling us straight that we have to do something about this. He's got in touch with 650 MPs. He's got in touch with police commissioners. He was a policeman for 18 years. And he's actually hiding now, and he's trying to expose all of this stuff so they don't hurt him. Because mm. once it's out there, then it doesn't matter if they hurt him or not. But he's exposed HMRC fraud that goes back, way back. I'll show you one thing here. The incorporation of the law reports of England and Wales. The incorporation, right? incorporated council of law, law report. report. Yeah. Yes. Right. And you know who's a director on here? I've got a feeling I'm about to find out. The attorney out. general. Right. Okay. The attorney general. Yeah. Victoria Prentice. And you know what their limited liability is? Ten pounds each. Really it's disgusting. Ten pounds. Yes. And this is and this is showing it's a company stroke charity. Why is there two numbers here? Why is it a company number and a charity number? I don't know, but whenever you hold an whenever you hold anything up, your voice goes really quiet. Right. Well I'm holding it so you can see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yep. So there's a lot of skullduggery and I just need supporters now. That's all I'm I'm, I'm putting out there. So Whoever when you say supporters, your... are you are you talking about just people turning up at the venues? People turning up because it's people need to take charge for the people. And I mm. believe we need to open our own courts um one area at a time. But one court open, the people's court, it will fix all of this stuff. They can even keep their shit going. But you call someone lost harm or injury and they got two witnesses, they can come bring it to the people's court. But I'm hoping that it's one last chance we go and get sworn in and we won't have to take a city. It will all get fixed gradually by having a, a, a court with the rule of law at first instance. I don't know if you understand that. Because at the moment, of. we don't have the rule of law. Well, first instance is literally first instance. I've been to the Supreme Court thinking they're supreme. They've got etched in the glass. We would not sell, delay or deny the right of justice. And I was like, wow. And they let me film with my body cam in there. I was like, yes, I found it. So the next week I went, I took my case with me where the police beat me up. I sent it to Chancery. They sent it back. Send, send it to the Queen's bench. I sent it to the Queen's bench. They sent it back. I've got the comp slip saying, send it to the Queen's bench. This is three years ago. Where do you go when you've gone that high? And then the Supreme Court says to me, oh, no, um, it's a thousand pounds. It was 800 to bring a case there. It's a thousand pounds now. And it wasn't the money. The point was, I can't even bring a case there. Mm. It has to be agreed by a lower court as, as an appeal. So there's nothing supreme about it. And I said to the young girl and the, the young guy at the desk, I said, can you read what's etched in that glass? And they read it and they looked at each other and looked at me. I said, well, you guys work here, so you need to ask your superiors what that means. We will not self-delay or deny the right of justice. 
And I said, you're damn right shutting me down, telling me a lower court's got to agree it. How is that supreme? It's Nothing ridiculous. supreme about it. It's a bit, it's a bit like the doctors but when you need to... It's for the barons. Yeah, it's a bit like the doctors, though, isn't it? Where they need to, you need to be assessed by the doctors before you can go and see a, I don't know, uh, somebody higher up. Yeah, but why is it called Supreme Court? Why was it? Why would they take them out of Parliament and put them there and and say separation, the judiciary is separate? How is it separate? We've got HMCTS staff, and you know what? I've got body cam footage and evidence of them telling us they're not even legally trained and they're the legal advisors to the magistrates. And that's Houston. We have a problem there, a well, huge problem. Welcome to clown world. I've got evidence of all of this. And I actually got just the last time I went, because like I said, I went to Thames court, found out that wasn't even a court. So I found Chelmsford is part of the judiciary. Yeah. And I found a resident judge there. So I've got, Loads of paperwork here, which I'm going to run through bits and pieces. So I found a resident judge. This is, you saw on my podcast, mm -hmm. Christopher Morgan, right? So I've gone over to the magistrate again, and the operations manager, the buildings manager, Karen, Karen Banks, left this note, right, for the security to give me. Shall I read uh, it to you? Yeah, go on then. Okay. Well, I, right. can read, I can go on. I was going to say on, I can read on, it if, read if it's it. up. Back a bit further. Karen will not be able to help any further, so she will not engage in any conversation with you. Any mail, please send to Osprey House. So basically, they're wiping, right. they're doing this. And she's the one. The first time she said. The, I can't swear you in because the judge is on a video link today. And when I've gone back, she's hiding from me. So I served her a notice as well. That's why she's scared to come out. I had another notice for her. So what I did, I went across the road and I sat in a court case. I'm so gutted that people didn't turn up on that Thursday. We would have had a fantastic Friday, not just a good Friday. It's been a mm. fantastic Friday. And the amazing thing is, on the bank holiday Monday, it was the 1st of April, and my city here was incorporated 1st of April, 1974. That's 50 years to the day. And it, we have to change it. We can't have a corporation. We're paying a corporation, and they're taking our money elsewhere. Even if, even this law report, this, right? It says 40% of the money that they're bringing in, the charity, is, is they're investing it abroad. That's England and Wales law report. Yeah. It's a charity. And they're investing it abroad, 40% of the money, because this is the account here for 2022. And I'm going to take that to an accountant and have a look at it. It's a charity. They shouldn't be taking any money, and there's millions going through there. But that doesn't mean anything. Like, this, like I said, Gary Waterman, what he's, what he's just shown everyone is it's done. It's finished. It's either war or slavery. And we don't want either of those. No. So we need to stand up and we need to start evicting them. Same way they've been evicting people from their homes. We need to evict them from our government buildings. It belongs to us, not a corporation. That's a dead entity. And they need to stay dead and go away from where we are. That's I'm, I'm no. so angry now. I'm passionate. And it's, it's really, really driving me nuts now. But anyway, I've gone across the road. I sat there hours for this Christopher Morgan. I've even put a plea out there. If someone knows him, tell him to do his job. He's part of the judiciary. He's the only one I've found that's part of the judiciary. And you heard what he said. Uh, that, that, that he started stumbling. But you see how I, I said to him, I, from the bottom of my heart, I didn't want to go and chase a judge down in a crown court. You know, he could have done me contempt of court and put me in jail. And I've run to the bench and he shouted, you can't come to the bench. And I said, please, I, I have to do this. I had no choice. You're the only one I've found that is part of our judiciary because it, he's registered on the judiciary. See? That's not HMCTS. And I said to him, you have an oath, which is the oath. Right? Again, it's part of the judiciary. And he started stumbling. 
oh, uh, that's only when I'm at trial. I said, it doesn't say on the oath, it says, I do swear by Almighty God that I will well and truly serve our sovereign King Charles III in the office of judge, and I will do right to all manner of people, not persons, after the laws and usages of the realm, without fear, favour, affection, or ill will. So he's under oath. HMTTS, they're not under oath. That's why they tell you to piss off and you go to the court and you say, are you under your oath today? They're not. They don't even have an oath. That's why they're laughing at us. They're just stealing from us every day and it's got to stop because we can all live a beautiful life. If we can stop them. Yeah. They're stealing billions and billions and billions. And that should be shared out amongst everyone. Should our be. wealth shouldn't be leaving our country. We make the wealth here, should stay here. Can I can I be a, a drama diva? Yeah, go on. Can you bring your mic closer? Because those <laughs> mics are condenser mics, and so they only really work. How's that? If that's better, yeah. How's that? Yeah. It's just a word. <laughs> Right, so I want to I want to show a few things, which I had there for the judge. So we got this from the judiciary. Everything I'm showing you now, nothing is from HMTTS. It's all from the judiciary. Yeah. So all from the judiciary. Yep. From this is Majesty's Court and Tribunal Judiciary. They're a separate entity with a separate web address, totally independent to HMCTS. And this is three, the independence, impartiality, and integrity, right? It says here, the responsibilities of the judges in disputes between citizens and the state have increased together with, uh, together with the growth in governmental functions. The responsibility of the judiciary to protect citizens against unlawful acts of the government has increased. And with it, the need for the judiciary to be independent of government. So why have we got .gov front in every court of England and Wales if they're meant to be independent? Yeah, exactly. And you've got the Lady Chief Justice, yeah, acting as Lady Chief Justice, Sue Carr, yeah? She's coming straight into my court when I open it up, right? Because she needs to answer why she done a speech on the 17th of January um, to Parliament saying that she's honoured to be the protector of the rule of law. She's only protecting it for the barons, not yeah. for us. Yeah. Right? We're, we're commoners to them, and we're, we're like shit on their shoe. And I can show you stuff if you want to go deeper into it, but there's no need for that. But <laughs> this is all from the judiciary, right? I'll show you something else now. This is the queen and the judges of the rule of law. Look at the date there. What does it say? 1st of June, 2022. Right. And, and this is talking of a speech done in 1968. Right? So they've republished it on the judiciary website. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And this should wake people up now. It says, Her Majesty said, the judiciary is one of the oldest and most honourable branches of the service of the crown. It is also one of the most vital because, as the yearbooks tell us, the law is the highest inheritance of the king, for both he and all his subjects are ruled by it. Shall I say that again? Please do. The law is the highest inheritance of the king, for both he and all his subjects are ruled by it. And if there were no law, there would neither be no king nor inheritance. And she says that is true today as it was five centuries ago. And this speech was in 1968. Further on, she says, the attachment of our people to the law is the foundation of our constitution and our civilization. As the independent custodians of the law, the judges bear a direct and personal burden of responsibility, which makes their office a lonely and difficult one. We are fortunate that our judges are worthy inheritors of the great traditions of their predecessors. As our world becomes more complex, so the task of doing justice between man and man and man and state 
becomes more difficult and even more important. Right? Why are they republishing that in 2022? I don't know either. <laughs> but I'm glad they are because now they're giving us what we need. Mm. You understand? It's like the, people need to just get together now. It's finished. There's no point writing affidavits. They're stealing people's kids. They're stealing people's houses. And you think they're going to answer your bloody affidavit. I've sent thousands of them, guys. So stop. Just come learn how to open court with one page. Telling the wrongdoer, you've done a wrong. This is the wrong. Here's my two witnesses. And to confirm that, in the King's Bench Guide of 2023, it says, you've got two witnesses, don't need to supply any other evidence. That's how big two witnesses are. The only way there's going to be a trial is if the wrongdoer comes with two witnesses as well. Then we've got to see who's lying. Mm -hmm. And I believe we can do thousands of trials every day that quick. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Powerful. We can't be messing around now because all they're doing, they're keeping the legal society busy, adjourning, 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 using this act, this statute, having a battle of, of acts and statutes. Which one's better and which one beats the other one? Who's got the shiniest sword? It, it's not who's got the most education. But to learn all them acts and statutes, it will take you a lifetime. Yeah. A lifetime. So I, I don't know. You tell me, Chris, do you think that's right? when they say ignorance of the law is not acceptable in a court of law, which means they're not laws. Because mm. there are only one law. The law is don't call no one lost harm or injury. Child knows it. That's why it's unwritten. It all comes, it all comes under do no harm. That's right. Really? And the reason it's unwritten is because every, um, every city will have its own customs. We might have customs here where most people want pumps on the road. They have to have it if that's what they want. And if I don't like it, I'll go to a city where they don't have humps. Do you see what I'm saying? It's yeah. about the people of the realm. It's called and democracy. That's right. But what they've done, they just making all these bills so they can make money. And they're saying it's for the majority when the majority doesn't even vote. So they're not yeah. even doing it for the majority. That's it. Yeah, 100%. And you know what? There was three justices resigned. This is from Helena Kennedy. She's talking on a pro bono week of Gray's Inn. And she's ballsy, this Baroness Helena Kennedy. But she's still got to be wrong. She's a Baroness. So at the end of the day, they all got to go. In the Bible, it says, do not use flattering titles. Because doing so, your creator will take you away. So why are we using flattering titles? We are all equal under the law and under our creator, whatever you call it, God, Allah, energy, whatever you want to call it. It's the same entity. Yeah, we are 100 all equal. With you. I have to give a shout out to Robbie because he is very much looking forward to this podcast. Who's Robbie? He, he's just a friend of mine that I've had on podcast before and he's been going through the system. Because I want to give a shout out as well to Rob, Rob the Rat Catcher. Right, okay, different person. He's but got a case do. tomorrow, and he thinks he's going to be going to jail two to six years. They've just hoodwinked him. They so bad. I wish I could go down there and just go and get him. I said, "Listen, I've got somewhere for you to stay if you want to come down this side. Don't just tell anyone where you are. Just get away from there." He said, "No, I'm going to stand it face on." I said, "Well done, but you know it's so crooked." And he said, "I know," and they're going to put me in jail. Well, where, where, whereabouts is he? Um. Oh, what did he say? It's down the south, I think. Uh, or more, I think that way. I'm, don't quote me on that. You know, I'm not telling you 100, okay. percent but it's not nice, not nice. And I'll because, to... because my what? friend Robbie, he yeah. said he he he's well up for helping. You know, if he if he's needed to attend a court just for safety in numbers, that's said, what we need. He's, he's happy to and go there. And he's London, case. so that's not that far from Essex, is it? Where is he? He's on the outskirts of London, or should, he's in London. Depends what part of London, but I'm on the I'm on the edge of East London. Right, okay. but I'm in Essex, yes. and my my city. Look, my hairs are standing up because I, the research I've done about my city, Wolfham Abbey. I don't know if you know about it, but have a look. Um, I think it was 1548 where Henry VIII mm -hmm. 
he destroyed all the monasteries in England because they wouldn't accept his annulment. And Wolfram Abbey was the last monastery he destroyed because he was scared of it. Did you know that there was thousands of people coming to Wolfram Abbey, pilgrimages for healing at the monastery? I didn't I know this. I only know this because you told me earlier. But I It's crazy. I didn't know. Look it up. It's crazy. And we've got to bring that back. And supposedly that's why King Harold, his last resting place is here, because he got healed from his whatever he had, the disease, whatever it was. He got healed. But to know that there's thousands of people traveling to this area, for years and years and years. And that's all stopped. The city was wealthy. The people made money because they had gifts for people. They had people were buying stuff that came here. They came from all over the world. Pilgrimages. Yeah, it's like a sacred amazing. place. Um, so so what, is, then, what is the best way to contact you if people if people want to show support and turn up? What is the best well, way Well, I've for got the email address, which I do send to people... Um, all my paperwork, okay. truth and facts matter at outlook.com. And at the bottom, which it proves a lot of people don't even read one page I send and give them a rundown of what they should do. And at the bottom, it's got my phone number. And there's people asking, uh, can we have a chat? And they're sending me pages and pages. That I'm starting to ignore them now. Because yeah. if you can't even read one, one page that I've sent you, just go straight to my documents uh, and use templates. Yeah. They don't deserve to have a phone call with me. Because you prefer so to, you, you, I was going to say, you prefer to talk to the person, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because me doing emails, I can speak to five people by the time I do one email. It's like, like I said, it took me hours just to get this Zoom sorted out. <laughs> <laughs> and I've had to buy a mic. Um, so, yeah, it, this is the Queen speech. It's all the judiciary, the oaths, it's all under the judiciary. But yet, when you go there, it's HMCTS. Same with Osprey House. Osprey House, it's HMCTS. So if I want to go to Burger King, why you keep sending me to McDonald's? Yeah. This is what they're doing. Mm. Just and passing the buck, isn't it? That's right. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Right, I've got this, which is from a learning book. And it shows you here, the judges, which ones are restricted by statute? And when you get to the high court and above, they're not restricted by statute. They follow the rule of law. And that's where I was trying to explain to you what I'm doing is getting the rule of law in first instance, not have to go through the a recorder, a district judge, um, a circuit judge, to get to a high judge that's not restricted by statute. We should be getting them from the first instance. That's when I'm saying first instance. Yeah. We shouldn't you be. You don't want to be jumping through right. the hoops. That's right. Right. Then we got this. I don't like using app statutes and legislations, right? But that is a constitutional reform act. And it explains why they're separate. The duty on government ministers to uphold the independence of the judiciary barring them from trying to influence judicial decisions through any special access to judges. And this says it's for the first time in 900 years. And I got a speech from Ian Burnett, the old Lord Chief Justice, 2022, and he talks about this. And his speech is called The Hidden Rule of Law. And he says we have not been following the rule of law since the late 1600s. Those are his words, not mine. Where are we? Going it's backwards. Disgusting. It's disgusting. So, um, so how many people would you say is recommended to attend one of these court uh, things? About 30? I need as many as possible because, to be honest, it's me that's going to call the police. Call the police, but I want that Gary Waterman to be there because he's an ex-policeman, 18 years. He was an uh, uh, was it inspector, or constable. Uh, he wasn't just a normal police officer. He did move up the ranks. But because he knows that system, we need someone that knows that system as well. Yeah. So they can go and speak to them. Because 
for me, I think we should arrest all of them. Citizens arrest. It's all treasonous, it, aren't they? Right. And if, if you see a crime, this is what I, why I got in touch with Rob the Rat Catcher. When I saw him arresting a judge, and I see the security all manhandling him. And I said, no, no, I had to get his number and call him. I said, Rob, you've got the wrong people supporting you. Because if someone's filming and they see a crime happen or a wrong happen, to see how the words, how they program us. So if you see a wrong, you can do a citizen's arrest. If you don't do a citizen's arrest, you're part of that wrong. Yeah. All these people just filming. You you, you become you, you become an accomplice. That's right, exactly. It's exactly what it is. But I've got so much here from the judiciary. Look, the accountability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says the extent to which the judiciary in England and Wales are accountable, how they are accountable, and why there is a need for judges to be completely independent from government and other powerful groups are difficult questions, yeah? So we need answers. We need answers. The judicial office, yeah? This is all from the judiciary. But the judiciary, when you go on the website and you try to move forward for anything, straight to HMCTS. So they're sending us to McDonald's when we want Burger King. That's not mm. right. And then they're telling you that they have to be separate to Burger King. <laughs> it is a clown world, isn't it? What, what do we do? So the judicial office is a unique branch of the civil service, independent from the machinery which supports the government and dedicated to supporting the judiciary as a third arm of the state. We promote and safeguard judicial independence to maintain confidence in the rule of law. So they're not doing it. So we have to do it. Yeah. As simple as that, guys. Take it back. Now, the men need to grow some balls because there's more women with balls in this world than men. And I'm sorry to say that. I'm not being rude. And we're not it's talking about the LGBT clan either. It's a shame. It's a shame because it's not their fault. Yeah? They've been programmed and, and they've been manipulated to turn into women and take turning women into men. Well, this right. is why they went through the whole thing of, um, oh, what do they call it? Where they were demonizing masculinity. Yeah, that's it. That's what they're doing. Mm. It's crazy. So my shout is to people out there, get in touch through the email so I can build a database of people that are willing to stand up because I, I don't want no one to join an association I don't want no followers. I want people, men and women, kings and queens, to stand with another king or queen for justice, to implement the rule of law. That's written there. I've just shown you all of it. It's there in black and white from their own, and we have to make them do it. And you know what? The judiciary, they get 3.6 billion a year budget. And they haven't given no compensation since 2019. That goes in their back pocket. It's crazy. It? That's like millions every day just to throw away. Yeah. Budget of our money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, it's all our money. Your will go up. Your petrol will go up. Your council tax will go up. And, and they're even taking that and, and buying stuff abroad or by uh, investing in arms companies. That right. should scare people when your council is a corporation and they're invested in arms companies. That should 100%. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I do find it's quite, I, I think things are moving solely in the, the right direction because of the amount of people that have now stopped they're paying not, their council not, tax and things like they're that. They're not quick enough because what they're putting through, and when she wants to, this lady chief justice wants to join the, the HMCTS with the judiciary because they're doing such a great job, then what do we do? Hmm. At least now we're showing. We can see it's separate. It's proving it's separate. Let's go and hit them now. Put them in their place. And the only people that can change this world is the people in it. Just like I say, this is a simulation. It, yeah. It's a, a program. And the only thing that can change the program is the inside the program. 
that's why the belief once we get so many people waking up which we have got a lot of people but there's a lot of people that think they're awake <clears throat> and again i don't want to be rude to them they might be aware but you're only awake when you're doing something about it yeah no a man by his awake. actions yeah people think they're awake because they know no no you're aware you're not awake mm. well listen awake, doing I something about it I think you're right. I think we really need to start uniting. We need to start coming together as one. And well, why don't you put out there as well? And you build yeah. a group of people. And we get groups of people that we can all have groups and then all meet at once. Yeah. If you get 30, I got 30. 30 there, 30 there. Before you know it, we've got a few hundred. Yeah, I mean, I know people who do similar things with where they go and rescue people who are trying to be who are trying to get evicted and they all right. go to these houses. So we need to do and the I same thing in the on, courts. I might be going on Thursday to one. Yeah. Because that when they went to evict them last time, they said they're from the county court. And because I've done an eviction to get my own possession back, I know the process and I know county courts since 2022 and the foreseeable future, they don't have bailiffs to enforce possession orders. No. So if the bailiff is staying there from a county court, you need to ask them for the insurance or their bond. No. Because they've made a mistake. And I can prove it. So no, hopefully I go on Thursday, but I've got so much going on. There's so much. No, that's fair. Still well, look, I, I, th I think, you know, if anyone who's listening to this, watching this, if you live in the area, um, I would say within a 30 mile radius of where Paddy anywhere is. in Essex, anywhere North London, East London. Let's go. Contact Panny or yourself or you're myself. Far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thetford, you said, said oh, you're in. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm Thetford, so I'm probably about, I don't know, an hour and, about a, half. An hour and a half away because I looked it up to see how far yeah. away you was. <clears throat> yeah, you're more towards Colchester, aren't you? Well, we're closer to Norwich, okay, but it doesn't matter. But you know what, out of that side, Norfolk. There's something about Norfolk. Well, that's where Thomas Paine was. Yeah, and you know, also... We, um, stuff where he was born. One of the uh, Lord Chief Justice back in the day. Um, oh, Edward Coates. Mm -hmm. Coates, yeah. I think he was from, from uh, Norfolk. Norfolk has got special rules. My friend moved up there, and he said it's, it's amazing. They, they've got their own rules. And that's what they've done. I think the people have taken charge. Yeah. No, that's good. But that's we good. need to do that. But what we need, we need a people's court. If they're not going to open our court in the way they're meant to open it, because they're not accepting my summons and warrant for arrest now, because I'm not using their language. If I use their language, I give them my court away. Mm. Because the way this is, I'm holding my court at that venue. If I fill out their summons, it's going to be their court. It's, it's going all to be about the jurisdiction, isn't it? In that venue, mm. instead of at that venue. So it's a big thing. Big thing. Mm. Well, there uh, you go, people. I think we need to start getting our asses in gear, and we need to start. We need to unite, and mm -hmm. and whoever wants it, we don't need to go and help these evictions. You understand? Once this court is open, it's a one-page document. I man prosecutor against the wrongdoer. The wrong started here, continued to here, or finished here. My losses are this much. Thumb print. Two first hand knowledge witnesses. That confirmed by the magistrate court is a private prosecution. And the next step is a warrant and summons for arrest. And that's got to be done within 21 days. So where they got etched in the glass for the barons in the Supreme Court. This is our access of that Supreme Court. We will not sell, delay, or deny the right of justice. That's the true rule of law. So I've accessed it. And they haven't said it's no good, but we haven't got no one qualified to swear you in. The judge is on video link, and now don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> so I went and called that Christopher Morgan, and he said to me, leave all what you need at the desk. And I feel a bit bad because I left him a notice, and I put a notice him that if he doesn't do what's right then I'm holding him accountable for all my losses for that claim that I'm making because they're, they're all accountable they're all in their own words it's called 
perverting the course of justice if you want to go in your criminal yeah. world. But in our world, it's called trespass. Trespass upon my case, they're causing me further loss, harm, and injury. Okay. Are you happy? For all me, the are you happy for me to put your um your templates and stuff up on my channel so people can of see course, them? Of course yeah? you can. Yes, that's what it's there for to share a share and okay. And I know some people are a bit touchy about enough. sharing their work. No, no, no. It's if you're charging for it, then it's a no no. Oh no. Share okay. it. You got it for free, you share it for free. Yeah. That's my thing. If you need to sit down with someone to explain it to them and spend your time, yes, be compensated for your time. Because your time is is what you need compensated for. Yeah. And that's what we're we're using up our hours and our energy to build infrastructure which they've just sold on to foreign companies. And then now we're building infrastructure for technology, for AI and all of that. And we're building it all for them so they can push us aside and use it against us. Yeah. We own that because we created it. Our sweat energy created that. 100%. 100%. So, well, listen, I'm going to put a video. I am going to make a video using those things and so people can see it. Get in touch with me. Get in touch with Panny. But Panny, thank you very much for coming on. I've really appreciated listening to what you had to say. And yeah, we'll do a sort video. Of, do we'll a sort... video with um what I sent you with the yes. exhibit card where he says, Go fuck your mother. How disgusting is that? Hang say that again. Which one's this? It, I was in court waiting in court too, and the security guard wouldn't give me his name badge, and he came and he barged me. And I got oh, my phone really? out and I said, this is why I have my... Oh, um, yes. Yeah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. He was sat and down, wasn't he? One, yeah, that was about three years ago. Yeah, the black bloke. Yeah. And then yeah, he said, yeah. go back to police and make your noise there. That's racism. Yeah. Well, yeah. Racism ain't to do with colour, to do with segregation. Yeah. So he's telling me he's segregating the Greek race when I was born in London. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. There's, uh, there's some so lucky arrogant that I, people I about it. myself. Yeah. And then the other videos of in the, in the county court, when I call all the police, the sirens are going. I said, come on, bring them all in. I don't know if you saw that. I sent them to you. Yeah, yeah I, I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. Because I, if I was, you know how many I've got? I've got hundreds. Hundreds. I really yeah. need a team, a media team. That's what I need to get all this stuff put up there. I've got, no joke, hundreds of body cam footage showing me police, courts, all of them causing me lost harm and injury. This is my list here. In three years of lost harm and injury, I'll read them out here. 50 to 100 police officers, and I've got body cam footage, witnesses, and voice recordings to go with all of this. Three times they've assisted Bailey stopping your door to be last chance to pay. Right? That's ludicrous. I've even called up the magistrate court with a warrant. And the magistrate court said, there's no warrant on your name, sir. And they carried on helping the guy. Unbelievable. I got county court Edmonton five times, caused me lost harm and injury. The Royal Courts of Justice, five times lost harm and injury. The High Courts, Chancery Court, Queen's Bench, Supreme Court, Magistrate Courts, Barkingside, Thames, Chelmsford, Stevenage, Romford and Wilsden, lost harm and injury. The Crown Court, St Albans, lost harm and injury. Hospital, Princess Alexander attempted manslaughter to my dad. Lister, they did manslaughter him. I've got all the evidence of this. Social services at the care home. My great uncle, I got him out of there, got him off of crutches, off his back brace. They got him back, social services, police turning up at my door constantly. They got him back and now he's in a grave. Right? i got the Lady Chief Justice, the Lord Chief Justice previous, all caused me lost harm and injury. I got Edward R. Gar from the Ministry of Justice ignoring my notices. I got the Met Police and Essex Police conspired to steal my vehicle, my car, my conveyance, should I say. Conveyance, yeah. And they still haven't told me where it was. I found it myself in a police power. It's disgusting. And that's three years of lost harm and injury. And I haven't harmed a soul. And if you go through that, any one man goes through what I've been through, right? And you tell me I ain't allowed to open my own court. Boy, well, that's slavery, isn't it? Who says? Yeah, it and is. I'm, I, I ain't joking. I'll be buying a tank is my next step. 
if I don't get the support, I'm buying a tank. And I told my daughter this in 2017. And they put their heads down, lovely girls. And they understood. We understand that. I said, it shouldn't come to that. I said, but what's going on? If I have to, I'll do it. Yeah. Someone well, let's, well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. But yeah, if you, I do. If you, if you, if you do, I'm at the end of my tether, Chris. If you can send me the body cam footage, I know you've sent me some stuff, but if you can send me whatever you've got, obviously it probably well, won't be. you've got loads for now. You've got loads for now. Once and then, I'll, then I'll compile it and I'll make a video. Well, you're only an hour and drive away from me. Come and see me here. Yeah. And we put all what you want on a hard drive because I've got, I've got hard drives which I give my daughters. But I, don't, I know they could come at any time to take my, my stuff. But I've got backups of everything. So I can give you a hard drive with loads of bits on it. And the other thing is, there's some stuff which has to stay private. Right. Okay. I've given you a load of stuff, but for a private prosecution, it's going to be private. Mm. And this is the other thing. Uh, let me. This is very important. Sorry, we should have spoke about this. About private law, right? Mm -hmm. Private law is different to public law. Yes. Private law doesn't have act statutes and legislations. Do you know that? Yeah. Sorry. Public law does. Right. Private law is that part of the civil law legal system, which is part of the just commune that involves relationships between individuals such as the law of contracts and the law of courts. And it's also called common law and the law of obligations is separate to public law. Public law is when it's something to do with the public in general. But when someone's done something to you or the government has done something to you, that's private. And my court, there is no legal society allowed in there. And there's no one allowed in there unless they have first-hand knowledge. And it stays private. It's called a private prosecution for a reason. Okay. You see the difference? Mm. That's mm. private law. And this is, I didn't want to put this out there until I'm open court. But I want people to understand. This is a quote from Genghis Khan. I am the punishment of God. If you have not committed great sins, God would not have sent a punishment like me upon you. Amen. Mm. And who, who, who that sent that? Who, who broke that? This is Genghis Khan. He's the but bloke he's, who... He's, is he the one who killed on the side so, of my tank. Yeah, he's the one who killed so many people. He changed the carbon in the air. I don't know. I don't know. I know he was a Mongol, like a Mongol, wasn't he? Yeah. Genghis Khan. He and, was, now uh, we've, and now we've got Sadi Khan. He's great, 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 son who's now nothing trying to do like it him. the same way <laughs> nothing like him all he was trying to do was protect his land and his people all the ones that they say are bad like i thought Gaddafi was bad oh no he's he's no he's done everything what for a diamond people. a bloodless coup and he took his country over and when you reach a certain age you've got this much money there was no electric or gas bills that's right well, they, they, they were given been, houses so the infrastructure was done by their generations Mm. They didn't sell it off, but they went in and killed him, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Hillary Clinton. Yeah, we went in, we, we killed him, we conquered. Ah, she says. That's anyway, what yeah, that's, is. that's all the devils. Like I said, a yeah. lot of truth movement as well. They're going to get it as well. All these truthers out there, you know who you are, right? You know who you are, the ones that have trespassed upon me as well, right? There's nowhere to hide in the new world, my friends. Nowhere to hide. Simple mm. as that. You're coming mm. in to the rule of law first instance. You call someone lost harm or injury to first hand knowledge witnesses. It's finished. That's how the law should be. And it should always have been like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that's a good place to end it. So thank you very much, Panny. I've enjoyed our chat. And yeah, I'll we'll have to try and get up to you at some point. And tell everyone. Share, share, and share again. With the world where you kick someone when they're down, that's over. Yeah. The definitely. new world is you get either side and you pick them up. Yeah. And you find out what happened to them because they've been injured. 
anyone that's not right, anyone that's off key, anyone that's doing things wrong, like crazy stuff, it's not their fault. Years ago, I'd say, get that man away from me. Now I'm the first to run and say, what happened in your life? Yeah. No, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, listen, people, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed listening to him. Um, audio is still not brilliant, I have to say, but it's better than it was last time. I do think Wait, you've got I can't to have get a bigger it. mic than that. <laughs> no, but it's where you position it. I think you have to have it like right here, like I do. If I do it like over here, it's not, it's not as effective. Yeah, but I'll, anyway. have a, I'll have a listen to it, but maybe there's something I could do to make it better. I don't know, you know? different angle well i'll tell you what when i come up and see you i'll set it all yeah, up for you yeah because i can't so, hear until i listen to the podcast yeah no that's that's cool all right then mate well listen thank you very much take care and thank you. i will pleasure. speak to you again real soon thanks come everybody. On, unite, everybody yeah cheers buddy yeah unite and let's get this done that's it peacefully let's do that's this. it okay cool right see you later everyone i hope you've enjoyed it bye for now take care god bless